My research paper is about skin color evolution. As you may notice, there are a lot of skin colors across the world. And my responsibility today is to explain to you why. Let's take a look at this map. This map shows us the distribution of a skin color across the world. As you can see, in areas closer to the equator, people's skin is darker than in areas further of the equator. And again, we face the question, why? Well, the answer is simple. One of the main factors of this phenomenon are UV rays. UV rays are known mutagens and can change the DNA of a species over time. Let's go back to the map. Areas closer to the equator receive almost direct UV rays from the sun all year around. Therefore, individuals that live near the equator have darker skin color all the time, while individuals living further from the equator have light skin because they can produce more melanin only in summer when UV rays are more direct in their areas. The fact that areas closer to the equator receive almost direct UV rays from the sun all year round makes the DNA to produce melanin. And melanin is a dark skin pigment that helps block UV rays. Well, if we started to talk about pigments, then let's talk about pigments that are involved in the skin color. The first pigment that we are going to talk about is carotene. Carotene is the least common skin pigment. Results of this pigment can be yellowing of skin. The yellowing of skin result of carotene can be caused by overconsumption of carotene containing foods. So the carotene is abnormal skin coloration. So let's move on. Our second pigment is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a complex molecule responsible for transport of oxygen through our bodies. Here you can see the molecule of hemoglobin. Oxygenated hemoglobin has a reddish hue which produces a pinkish tint to lightly pigmented skin. Couldn't find a proper picture so you have to deal with my drawing. That's what's happening, how oxygenated hemoglobin adds a pinkish tint to lightly pigmented skin. And the third pigment that I'm going to talk about today is melanin. Melanin is the main determinant of the skin color because skin color depends on amount, diversity and distribution of the melanin. Skin color shows the pattern of the incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance is a form of intermediate inheritance in which one allele for a specific trait is not completely dominant over the other allele. This results in a third phenotype in which the expressed physical trait is a combination of the dominant and recessive phenotypes. Okay, let me show you an example. So if the father is dark-skinned man and mother is light-skinned woman, then their child will be probably brown-skinned. And that's how the incomplete dominance works. So let's summarize. Skin color evolution was caused because of the different distribution of UV rays. In places with high concentration of UV rays, people have darkened skin because their organisms have to produce a lot of melanin to protect them from UV rays, then people living in regions where amount of UV rays is less. You probably now have a question. <laughs> At least I had that question when I was doing my research. What skin color the first human on Earth had? Well, as the scientists say, the first human on Earth had a dark skin color. Yes, by calculating the rate of DNA mutations, scientists argue that our high Homo sapiens evolved from Homo erectus in Africa by about 200,000 years ago. Then Homo sapiens anatomically modern humans appeared some 140,000 years ago. Mitochondrial DNA is still controversial, but there is some archaeological evidence from Africa that supports the biologist scenario. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new about the evolution of skin color.